We're working on problem 11 of problem 3 on the practice exam. List two distinct reasons why, given two algorithms to solve the same problem, the one with the better worst case asymptotic performance may not be the best one to use, although it usually is. Okay, so why might the algorithm that doesn't have the better or worst case asymptotic performance be the best one to use? Well, we've seen one example of that with deterministic select versus quick select, right? Deterministic select has the better worst case performance, but quick select is way easier to write, way more efficient in the common case, and its worst case is actually not controlled by the user, so its worst case is, is just not going to happen uh, for any reasonably large problem. So uh, that's actually multiple reasons, but I'll just say um, practical efficiency i.e. the constant factor for relevant problem sizes. Okay, so how about another reason? Um, I mean, I could list lots more reasons that, that are distinct, and it would be perfectly reasonable if, if you listed them, but that kind of feel the same. Like, like maybe another reason is you already have an implementation of a good enough algorithm. Why are you going to run out and implement something that's asymptotically better, but you know it is insufficiently better for you to care? But that really boils down to uh, the same kind of reason that we've already discussed, right? We already said that's multiple reasons wrapped up into one. Let, let me give a, a qualitatively totally different reason, uh, and that might be um, memory efficiency. Maybe you've got two algorithms. One has better uh, performance in terms of runtime, okay, and I'm going to assume here what we usually assume, that this is runtime performance. But, you know, let's say we didn't assume this was runtime performance. Say you said, well, what if it was memory performance? Then I would say uh, reason number two is runtime efficiency, right? So maybe what you have is an algorithm that uh, one of them is better for runtime performance and the other one is better for memory efficiency. There are other reasons as well, by the way. Maybe one of them is a better parallel algorithm and you anticipate eventually running this on a, a large cluster of machines. So even though its performance scales worse on a single processor, uh, its performance scales better as the number of processors increases. Or maybe one of them has better cache coherency, or uh, you know, maybe one of them um, is, is easier to make secure in some sense, where there is some threat model that describes what an insecurity would be. There, there might be lots and lots and lots of other reasons. Uh, but the real point here is usually better asymptotic runtime performance uh, is a reason to pick an algorithm. And you just want to be aware of the other factors that can also come into play.